Today's essential Photoshop element tip is how to change the opacity setting by pressing just one key on your keyboard. Let's go over to Elements and get started. I have this photo that I duplicated the background layer on and then lightened up the shadow areas. I'll click on the eyeball for layer 1 so you can see the before and after. There's before and there's after. I feel that it got a bit too light, so I'm going to lower the opacity of layer 1 to lessen the effect. You can lower a layer's opacity by clicking on the little arrow next to the opacity field, and then when the slider appears, just click and drag the slider to change the opacity. But I want to show you a much quicker way to change the opacity. You can use the number keys on your keyboard. Press 1 for 10%, 2 for 20%, 3 for 30%, and so forth. I want to try 40%, so I just press the number 4. I decide I don't want to lower it that much, so I'll press number 6 to bring the opacity to 60%, and I like that better. That's a great shortcut, but you need to be aware of something. So I'm going to set my opacity back to 100% on my layers panel. Some of the tools in the toolbox also have opacity settings and they trump the opacity of a layer. To show you what I mean I'll make the brush tool active by clicking on it in the toolbox. In Photoshop Elements 11 it's the tool options at the bottom of your screen and in earlier versions of Elements it's the options bar which is located at the top of your window. See the opacity setting? Now, if I press 7 to change my opacity to 70%, it changes the opacity for the brush tool, and the opacity for my layer remains unchanged. So you need to have a tool active that does not have an opacity setting. The zoom tool does not have an opacity setting, so just press the letter Z to make the zoom tool active. You can see there's no opacity setting, and now I can use the shortcut to change my layer's opacity. And that wraps up this tip for Photoshop Elements 11. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Rick saying take care.